So for at home, we're going to start with our straight jump. You want to start in plie, so both knees are bent. And you're going to push all the way through your feet. Arms go up by your ears. Straight jump. Awesome. Let's do one more for the people. Good. Then we can try our tuck jumps where you bring your knees up to your belly. We don't want to bring your feet to your bottom. You want to bring your knees up to your chest. Good. Arms do the same thing where they go up above your head as you jump. Last jump on the beam is split jumps. Ooh, Miss Vanessa has a very nice split jump. So you want to make sure that your front leg and your back leg go up the same amount so that you don't get turned sideways. Awesome. And for an extra challenge, we recommend this one just on the floor probably, not on a beam. You could try straddle jumps. Wow. Excellent. Next up, we're going to do a little bit of handstand work. So starting out from the basics. And we recommend doing everything on a line first and then taking it to the beam if you are ready. Um, and also make sure that you have a safe space to do this where you're not going to kick anything or run into anything. So we're going to start off with single leg donkey kicks. So you can put one foot in front, hands in the butterfly hands that we talked about earlier so that they're both the same on the beam. And little hops up and down landing with that one foot first. Nice straight arms. And you can try them on both legs. Our next handstand variation is a Spider-Man handstand. So same, using your butterfly hands so that they are the same on the beam, not one hand in front of the other, but right next to each other. Walking your feet up the wall, and you can even put a little chimney on top. Or you could switch feet and do a chimney with the other leg. And walk back down again, keeping those arms nice and straight so you don't collapse. All right, our next step in the handstands is working on our lunge position. She has a nice straight line from her fingertips to her back heel, and she's gonna work on the T levering position into the handstand, keeping a nice straight line. So it's good to do against a wall, against a couch, anything you can kind of push off of to stand back up, and she's covering her ears the entire time. Those are awesome. Then she can scoot back a little bit, and we will start going for our handstands. So starting just with small ones, especially at home where you don't want to fall over because it might not be so soft, we want to do just a little half handstand, keeping her legs in a split. Awesome. Doing a few of those until you're comfortable. Then you can go up a little bit higher, and then you can start tapping your toes together real quick and coming right back down into that lunge. We're gonna really make sure we're landing back in our lunge correctly every single time. And if you have really good control on that, you can try it against the wall. You wanna go nice and slow into it. You don't wanna crash into the wall, but just barely touch the one foot, and then stand back up nicely into the lunge. Awesome, and that's handstands on beam.